Welcome back again. We're going to do another little bonus reading to capture another part of the Christmas story. Once again, we're skipping over to Matthew for our bonus reading. And the account starts in Matthew chapter 2. It says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. So we'll stop right there. I just wanted to um, include the scripture of the wise men, and you can read the rest of Matthew uh, chapter 2. We, we know that Herod was wroth when he found out that the wise men didn't return and he sent and slew all the little children of Bethlehem, uh, two years old and, and younger. And so, very sad, um, very sad day for, for those people back in that time. But the Lord watched over Jesus and the angel had warned Joseph to take him away. And he did, he obeyed. And um, so... The wise men, they followed this bright star, you know, and they came a long journey. And by this time, it says that uh, it called Jesus a young child. So we don't know exactly the time frame. Uh, it could have been, he could have been almost two years old. He could have been um, a toddler. He could have been just a few months. I don't, I don't know the time frame, but we noticed that he was in a house and not in the stable anymore. So he did have uh, at least a house uh, where they found him in that day. And they brought him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, gifts fit for a king and all signifying things, uh, kingship um, and um, the, the perfumes um, and the frankincense, the myrrh, all those things uh, represented also what he would what he came to to suffer and um, so that's something that you might study out what all frankincense was used for it was used in in the temple to um, as as incense it had to be mixed just a certain way and the myrrh I believe was used um, uh, I believe in in the burial process even so those were uh, Things that smelled very good. They were very costly. 
And uh, so they brought him these things, and and no doubt maybe those gifts even helped financially the young couple as Jesus was just a young boy because God always has a plan. He always provides. And so, um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the um, reading about the wise men tonight coming to worship the baby Jesus. And they came and they opened their treasures to him. And, you know, we can open our heart to him and uh, worship him just like they did and invite him in to be our savior. You know, they found the newborn king. And um, do you remember the day that, that Jesus found you? We might think we found him, but he, he finds all of us. He came to seek and to save all that was lost. So I hope you've enjoyed the little reading about the wise men as a bonus reading today. And um, again, hope it enhances uh, the blessedness of your Christmas season. So see you again soon. Bye.